Hello everyone, and thank you for attending today's webinar on quick flange wireless connectors. My name is Josh Cannell, and I'll just give a quick intro to myself before we get into the presentation today. So I've been at ICR for two years now, and um, focusing predominantly on the quick flange business unit. Um, I started by covering a selection of clients in the UK, and I since changed my role um, slightly by taking on more international work for quick flange, and also currently covering in an interim head of sales role as well. But in today's presentation, though, um, we will be covering um, an introduction to ICR. Um, so who we are, what we do and where we operate. We'll discuss uh, what is quick flange technology. We'll discuss the technology's range and features and we'll discuss typical application uses and um, how we test and qualify quick flange connectors uh, the benefits of utilizing quick flange over traditional hot work solutions. And finally, uh, to conclude, we'll run through the Q&A session. And we're hopefully Tom and I can answer all your questions. So a brief intro into ICR. So ICR are a leading provider in repair, inspection and integrity solutions. And we are formed in two divisions, the repair and maintenance and integrity inspection divisions. So joining Quick Flange in the repair division is our Technorap composite repairs and our online leak sealing and specialist machining teams. And in our integrity and inspection division, we have our Sky Futures inspection business unit our integrity monitoring and chemical injection teams, and finally our Insono composite inspection tool, which can be used to uh, inspect composite repairs and service. So as you can see, um, ICR provide a full turnkey solution for your asset integrity requirements. And if you have any interest in the other business units that make up ICR, please do not hesitate to reach out to myself or the team at ICR. And I'll also leave my email address on the final slide, so you've got a reference there as well. So ICR is a truly global business and we're headquartered in Aberdeen in the northeast of Scotland. We've also got operational hubs in Carnforth in the northwest of England, and Stavanger in Norway, Houston in the United States and Perth in Australia as well. All the grey icons you can see on the screen are a list of partners and this is ever expanding and just shows that we can offer sales and engineering support and no matter where you are in the world. So that's the uh, ICR intro done and um, let's start talking about quick flange. So Quick Flange was founded and developed alongside a leading operator in Norway and then became part of ICR in 2003, where we've since completed over 15,000 successful installs globally. But what is Quick Flange technology? So uh, put simply, um, Quick Flange is a means of joining a flange to pipe work for the requirement for welding. So the technology is based on modifying a standard ASME 16.5 weld neck flange, and machining down the weld neck, machining grooves into the internal bore of the flange. Now, the number of grooves can depend in on a number of different factors, um, such as the line media, temperature, pressure, etc. But for typical applications, we look between one to three grooves. And in the next slide, we're going to run through an animation of a quick flange install, which will explain why these grooves are so important. So as discussed um, in this slide, we have an animation of a quick flange install, and it will run through the whole process uh, from preparing the install area. Uh, to complete the install itself. The animation is volume, so you'll all be glad to hear that you'll be spared my voice for a couple of minutes. Uh, and when the clip is complete, um, I'll run through the next slide, which explains the, the installation um, process in more detail. The process of installing a quick flange weldless connector is both quick and easy. Once the line is isolated, a straight cut is crucial to ensure the quick flange sits flush to the pipe edge. The hydraulic tool is aligned into the pipe and activated to the required pressure. During this process, the cone of the tool quickly extends, allowing the segments to flare, swaging the pipe into the pre-machined grooves of the connector. The tooling is then reversed, concluding the installation, creating the permanent gas-tight seal. So I think the animation is really good. Um, it runs through the whole process, and the key points to highlight uh, from my side are that a straight cut to the pipe is imperative, and uh, just to ensure the quick flange connector butts up to the pipe edge. Uh, and once the activation tool is inserted and pressurized, you've got to see the kind of cone extend, the segments flare. And when that's happening, the, the pipe is being swaged into the pre machine grooves uh, of the quick flange connector, thus creating that permanent metal to metal gas tight seal. Um, but anyway, um, in this slide, we can see an image of a cut section from a successful quick flange installation. You can see here this is a two groove install, um, and you can clearly see where the pipe has been swaged into the pre machine grooves of the quick flange connector. And thus creating that permanent metal to metal gas tight seal. 
it's important to note that the full pipe integrity remains um, and there's no reduction in wall thickness. And as you can see on the circular image to the right there, um, we've got four ceiling points for this install. And it's also important to note another step in the quick flange process uh, where we um, apply a bell zone and pace grade. So we apply that in two locations, here where the flange body meets the pipe itself, and here where there's a small lip on the flange face. Now the bell zone and pace grade has got no bearing on the mechanical strength of the connection. It's purely to act as a crevice corrosion barrier only, so to prevent water and moisture ingress. But once we've completed a quick flange install, um, how do we ensure the integrity of the connection? Well, we do this by performing um, a hydrostatic leak test, which puts the quick flange connection under a controlled pressure where we can determine if the connection can withstand various loads and stresses and determine if there's any leaks, just to really ensure that the quick flange connector will function properly when the line's being brought back online. As you can see, yeah, they're just coming through now. And um, these are the components that make up the flange joint testing kit as well. And we obviously provide that for each and every scope. This slide um, it details the quick flange product range. So the two points that really stand out to me are the pipe materials that we can accommodate, where if connectors qualified for carbon steel, stainless steel, uh, CUNY, duplex, super duplex, and also the quick flange size range, where if connectors qualified from three quarter inch right the way up to 14 inch. We're also type approved from class 150 to class 900 and achieved industry recognized type approval with DNV and ABS. In this slide, uh, we have another animation which will run through typical applications and where quick flange can be used. Uh, this animation is volume as well, and we'll discuss uh, further, further instances where quick flange can be used um, in the next slide as well. Our technology is suitable for a wide range of applications, including hydrocarbon gas and liquid services. Installations are typically carried out where hot work is not possible. Quick flange can also be used for standard piping repairs and decommissioning of lines throughout a variety of facility types. So uh, further to the animation, uh, quick flange is considered for um, modification and repair scopes, for uh, new spool tie-ins, system rerouting, um, and in system repair campaigns as well, to name but a few. I've also seen us recently being used as a construction tool um, where we're used to reroute a fire water system around an extension to an accommodation block um, for an offshore asset in the North Sea. But quick flange is also being used in the decommissioning sector where we're being used for blending of lines and rerouting of pipework. So we've got multiple uses where the technology can be, uh, can be utilised. But if you had a potential install in mind um, and got in touch with myself and the sales team, uh, we'd first ask you to complete the attached technical evaluation form. Uh, so once complete, this will be reviewed by our technical team. Um, once approved, we then look to provide two documents. Um, so a quotation that would provide costs and lead time for the necessary quick flange connector um, equipment and tooling, um, and also a document called a technical proposal. So in this document, this will provide all the information required to ensure a successful installation. So it'll include the um, sizes and dimensions for the necessary quick flange connector, um, tooling, cutting equipment, testing equipment if required. Um, and we'd also include all our installation procedures as well. So we'd package the two documents together um, and get that sent out as soon as possible, really, um, once this form has been complete, because we've got dedicated um, technical sales and operation teams. Once the quick flange connector has been technically reviewed and ordered, we're then looking to install it. So this is where this document comes into play. Um, and it's called the Job Verification Document, or JVD for short. So this document is really important um, and contains details such as the uh, line ID, flange ID, um, tooling ID, so that the correct flange is installed at the correct location with the correct tooling. Um, also contains important details such as the uh, activation pressure, so we know what we need to take the installation tooling to. Um, so effectively, once complete, gives us as a supplier um, and yourselves as the client, a complete record of the installation. I should add that this is packed um, alongside the tooling um, and the installation procedures, so the installer will have everything required to ensure a successful install. Quick Flange have thousands of connectors qualified, um, and each one goes through a rigorous testing process before being put into service. 
that will include um, an internal pressure test, um, an axial load test, a combined bending and torsion test, a nitrogen leak test, and a UG101 burst test as well. So we've got some um, images below here that kind of um, detail some of the testing that's taken place. And what jumps out to me, as you can see for the uh, bending and torsion test, we actually achieved over 140% of the ASME requirement. And uh, for the axial strength pull test, we actually achieved uh, the maximum test equipment pull force. And for the internal pressure burst test, um, at 580 bar, it was actually a pipe failure. So no alterations to the quick flanges themselves. So hopefully this gives an idea of uh, what testing is carried out before we qualify a connector and to what level that testing um, is taken to as well. And the result of that um, is this, this is slide here. So this is a test certificate for an 8 inch Shed 80 Class 600 carbon steel connector. So this details what testing has been completed um, and to what level that testing had come to. And we can provide this of each and every scope um, as of when required. So in this slide, um, it details a summary um, of just what we've discussed in the, in the past four or five slides. Um, so the features of quick flange. Um, and after this, we'll then move on to uh, the benefits of quick flange over traditional hot work alternatives. But some key features that I wanted to highlight from this slide um, are extensive range. So just to reiterate, we can accommodate from three quarter inch up to 14 inch pipe work and all common piping materials uh, from class 150 to class 900. And we're constantly trying to expand on our range of connectors as well. And um, we've got a dedicated technical team. So um, if you do come to us with an install, um, we may not have a connector qualified at the time. Our technical team will look into it and hopefully have something qualified in the near future for you. We've got a proven track record. Uh, we've been in the industry for over 20 years and work closely with uh, global oil and gas operators. The major benefit to me um, with utilizing quick flange is the environmental benefits. So quick flange is a 100% cold working solution. So avoids all the ignition sources, flames and heat that you will find with traditional hot work solutions. Uh, quick flange has got um, industry recognized uh, accreditations in DNV and ABS type approvals. We've got a wide range of potential applications that we can accommodate. So anything from utility systems, fire water systems, um, all, the way, all the way up to hydrocarbon, liquid and gas. And then the final point here, I'll touch on more detail in a later slide, but we can also provide training as well. So alongside our experienced technicians, you can actually train your own techs at your own location uh, to be able to install quick flange. So uh, starting our look into the benefits of utilizing quick flange over welding, um, we have a short animation here, and um, hopefully this will illustrate how simple the technology is to utilize um, and the time saving it can be achieved over welding. The simple installation process allows for work to be conducted removing any hot work or emissions, resulting in installation times up to 80% faster than traditional welding. So uh, prior to that animation, um, on this slide we can see a graph that highlights the time saving that can be achieved by using quick flange over hot work. Uh, so this was based on real life examples uh, with an offshore operator. And what stands out to me for the larger install, so the six and eight inch you can see there on the screen, um, is that uh, quick flange achieved, achieved a time saving over 10 hours over traditional hot work. Um, and how much of a benefit does that bring not only to getting your um, asset or onshore facility and um, back to operational as soon as possible, but also what um, are the cost savings or the cost benefits as well. And this is highlighted in this slide here, uh, which as you can see, um, this was an eight inch shed 10 duplex flange um, installation. And the client saw um, a 54% cost saving um, if they had welded. This was an offshore asset. So the fact that two less personnel need to be mobilized was a huge benefit to the customer, um, just with bed space being at a premium. Um, also, no hot work had to be undertaken, um, so not just the obvious um, safety um, benefits, um, but the time saving as well that was achieved with not having to achieve necessary uh, permits or you know, shutting down the specific areas, etc. And um, so, all in all, um, a really good example um, and a really happy client. I'll also reiterate that um, the quick flange cost that's been displayed here was based on a 21-day hire. 
Um, so that was based on um, a week um, in a boat to the asset, um, a week to complete the installs and a week to return onshore. Um, if you, have, for instance, have an onshore facility, the, the higher durations would be just a matter of days. Um, or if you had more efficient kind of uh, boat, boating schedules, and then obviously the higher duration would be less as well. Um, just, just to conclude, um, I'd like to run through a quick commercial overview of the technology and what Quick Flange can provide. So um, we can provide the Quick Flange connectors themselves. So these are priced per bore size, material and pressure rating. We keep a, an extensive stock at our facility um, in Aberdeen in the UK. Um, we can also provide um, installation tooling. So these typically come with a daily hire rate and offer specific um, situations. Maybe there's a number of installs happening in a, a shutdown period. Um, we can create a, a campaign package or a, almost like a set fee um, and discuss that at the time. We can provide the testing equipment provided, um, which we ran through earlier in the presentation. Um, so this will obviously be calibrated to suit the application at hand. We can provide the cutting equipment. Um, so typically um, for smaller installs, so from one to four inch, we'd recommend um, a hand tool, so like so a Senga saw. Um, and for anything from four inch and above, we'd recommend orbital cutting equipment um, like clamshell cutting, cutter, sorry. We can provide both, we've got both in stock um, and we can advise to, to help out um, as well, as it really is imperative that we achieve a straight cut just to ensure that the quick flange connector butts up to the pipe edge. We can provide manpower, um, so we've got our own uh, multi-skilled trained technicians um, that obviously have a lot of experience in quick flange installations, but they are also multi-skilled so they can perform um, repairs of other ICR business units as well. So, for instance, um, if you had multiple repairs happening um, on an asset, one of our techs could complete both, negating the need to mobilise multiple techs to, to the platform. But if you want to train your own technicians, uh, we've got that, uh, that option as well. So this is a one day course, comes with a two year certification in our one to eight inch installs. Um, we also have an advanced training course as well. Um, so this is for our 10 to 12 inch installs. So all courses happen at facilities uh, in the UK. So that's in Aberdeen in Scotland or in Carnforth in England. And it's actually possible to extend the certification by a further 12 months if the technician um, completes six of the job verification documents and sends them back to us. So if that, is, if that has been completed, then ourselves as ICR and yourselves as the client know the technicians regularly utilising technology and regularly completing installs. So we see no reason why they would need to um, come back and, and be retrained if they're regularly using the technology. So yeah, so we would extend their certification by a further 12 months. So that concludes um, the presentation today. I hope you found this introduction to ICR Quick Flange uh, technology informative and interesting.